Hey, hey, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Nizo and you are watching the Shades and Souls channel. Alright guys, so today we're gonna have an unboxing because I can't give you guys a review. I mean a full-on review because I still can't play, I'm still injured and I was pretty devastated when I got these shoes because I wanted to play in them so bad because people were saying good stuff about these shoes here and there and I really wanted to try them out. So when I got these shoes, I was already injured, so it was pretty damn pointless. That's why I never opened it. I had this like around, what, mid-October? If I'm not mistaken, hold on, let me open this box real quick. Can't show you my info, but yes, I'm still opening the box. But yeah, man, I'm, I was pretty devastated when I got these, because I really wanted to play in them. Alright, people had a lot, of say, a lot to say about these shoes. And I even customize it. Jesus Christ. All right. So what are these? These are the Sabrina ones. I would have really, really loved to play in this. Let's check these out. Size eight half. That's my true to size. I haven't done a Nike by you in so long. And now that I did, I'm injured and I can't play in them. I was supposed to get these, like I said, mid-October, right around the playoff time. I couldn't even play during the playoffs. So there you go. That's my story, okay? So look at that. I even wrote down Shades Souls, okay, on the, on the heel of the shoe. Okay, so what's so special about these shoes? Why, why everybody, why everybody saying this is a great shoe? Okay, I've actually seen these shoes before. Um, in stores and I tried them on and I could say that the reason why people are so drawn to these shoes is not only because they don't they look like a Kobe-esque shoe right at the same time they have the tech that uh, goes along with it now what are you well, what am I talking about okay let's start off with the traction so traction look at that it's not herringbone, but it has it has a structure or a layout that you know you're covered everywhere. So looks looks can be deceiving, but I can tell you right now by feel, the looks justify the look is gonna justify how it performs. That's all I can say about the uh, traction. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work in e any direction. I'm sure this is gonna work indoors. I can't say how long this will last you outdoors, but indoors for sure. Now, what what's so what's so nice about the midsole is that the midsole of this is full length React. Okay, not that React has a good um, what do you call this? Has a good reputation in terms of basketball shoe, but the back portion of this is React. This is a harder rubber, but inside that harder rubber is the React and a four foot zoom back as you guys can see air zoom it's got, it's got a zoom back right there in the forefoot which is top loaded and uh, I know it's top loaded and I felt that it's top loaded because when I was fitting this shoe in uh, stores like Foot Locker I, I believe that was where I tried it I felt that zoom bag already okay so not only does the outsole work does the midsole have the tech um, the upper on these the upper on these is here we go here is the stitching on it. All right. I didn't offer like a different color because, well, I want I want a nice color. I want I want all black. There's a different type of material in the heel. The tab right there. This different color. You got a swoosh right there, and it's got oh, it's got a hard heel counter. All right. It's stiff. I like it. It's hard. I like it. All right. Okay. Clear out your minds. We're not talking about that. We we talking about this one. Okay. Let's see for the for the laces. See the laces on these. How much are these going for right now? Let me go check. So these are going for a buck thirty. That's a good price, man. That's a good price for uh, this shoe and the shoe carrying it right now it feels feels pretty light okay I want to see I want to see the tongue structure of this 
at the same time unlace there you go okay so the tongue is a half booty right there it's not an independent tongue if you guys want to call it that but I like that uh, it's strapped up right there in the middle um, see the insides the insoles they're regular and by regular I mean it's not too thin not too thick only thing left to do is fit these shoes but um so far I'm loving it give me one second let me try to fit them and then tell you guys how it how it fits okay all right so I tried them on sizing is pretty true to size uh, it feels very comfortable not thick not bulky not 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 uh, none of those feelings at all <clears throat> and as soon as I uh, put them on I quickly realized the outrigger right here you guys can see that outrigger uh, when you get the eagle eye view on this like you can see the outrigger you can feel it you can almost understand why people would think this is a Kobe shoe because when you wear Kobe shoes that's the first thing you see a glaring outrigger right here um, I had a even if I was just going up and down the apartment what I could tell is I wouldn't I personally wouldn't go here for the lace holes like I'm, I'm good enough right here this is a uh, low top shoe and a low profile shoe what I would suggest though or what I would have liked is that uh, this is supportive right here in the medial foot or medial portion of the foot opposite to the lateral obviously but um, the reason why I'm so sensitive there now is because I, my the arches of my foot drop okay um, that's <clears throat> one of the cause one of the reasons why I'm, I'm very injury prone right now is because it, my body is just going through a whole lot of changes uh, my both the arches of my foot drop and so my body's equilibrium and what it's used to when it comes to moving around has been causing me injuries okay so like I said uh, what I would have recommended was like a harder mid midfoot uh, medial stability control or lockdown control portion like a shank plate or whatever because I don't think these shoes have any right you guys can see that clearly um, but yeah that would have been that would have made this shoe perfect this shoe is already pretty good uh, just with this this is a hundred thirty dollar shoe outsoles work everywhere it's not squeaking but again squeakiness doesn't equal performance and I could tell you right now without squeakiness this shoe performs really well it's gonna perform really well this is very light uh, this is very low profile if you're into Kobe shoes definitely try these ones I'm not saying this is an alternate for a Kobe right a little bit of step down from the Kobe but hey this is a hundred thirty dollar shoe make with it what you will they don't have the top top upper materials but it's good enough trust me on that but yeah is the Sabrina ones um, let's just say this is like a little takedown model with Kobe and I'd still take it you know what I mean all right you guys uh, comment down below for uh, any issues concerns or anything you got to say about the shoe and if you've tried the shoe I know I'm late for the party but it is what it is right I'm injured you guys aren't so you guys can play with it I'm jealous you guys are I I really still want to play in these shoes and try to test them out myself but I just can't okay my knees are jacked up I still gotta get an MRI done getting old is no fun okay all right guys again thank you guys for watching thank you guys for your support it's your boy Diesel signing off peace out <laughs>